I'm Councillor Alan Tyreman. I'm the Cabinet Member for Housing on Torbay Council. And I'm standing here today at uh, Drew Street in Brixham in front of the former Air Home St Kilda's. Again, we've got an exciting plan to redevelop this site. Uh, the existing building was built some 50, 60 years ago and it served a very useful purpose, but it's been standing empty for well over five years now. And we've brought forward plans to build on site 23 apartments. The apartments will be prioritised for people who are currently residents in Brixham, for people who are 55 years or, or older. We expect that to be predominantly people who are downsizing from currently larger properties um, that they've probably brought up a family in. And the one of the good things about the whole process here is that by giving these people a better place to live, we're also freeing up the existing buildings to be occupied by families in Brixham who are desperately in need of larger and better accommodation. This is part of our response to the housing strategy. We will be looking to bring forward similar, it won't be identical, but similar schemes elsewhere in Torbay over the next few years. And it really, we are determined to make a real difference in the terms of provision of affordable housing in future years. Well, there's a period of uh, clearance of the site. As you can see, there's a, a large number of buildings from the uh, end of the last century that needs to be removed, remediated, any deleterious materials need to be removed, and obviously services need to be capped as well. That's going to take a period of a few months. Uh, a large part of our work is going to be within, inside the existing structures. And then after that, local residents will see demolition of the rooms with diggers, with tractors, etc., removing the, the physical remains of the buildings. We've then got a fairly substantial um, new development to construct. As, as Councillor Tymon's already mentioned, 23 new uh, apartments uh, of one and two bedrooms. Uh, it's going to be on a very similar footprint to what's here already, um, but obviously very modern form of design. Uh, reflecting much more um, environmentally conscious uh, design uh, and providing a really good form of accommodation for, for, for new residents to live in in the long term. Sure. Um, we expect overall the construction to take around 18 months, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the weather. Um, and so we're anticipating getting completion of the block in around about spring 2026. What's really exciting about this scheme is that it's the first time Torbay Council has built what people would know as council housing for a really long time. Um, it's part of a wider drive to increase the amount of social housing and affordable housing in the Bay and also the rest of the South West as well. In this instance, we're providing all 23 homes for people with a local connection to the area at social rents. Now, that is what people would typically know as council housing. And that means that people will be able to have a much more cost-effective way of living. They'll be able to have more money in their pockets and actually help support local businesses and infrastructure in their everyday life. What's also really exciting is that we have secured a grant from Homes England, who are the government's agency for housing, to help us deliver this scheme. Um, and it's, that's a, it's a really exciting development for Torbay, and it means we can access on this site and also on future sites that we look to bring forward also for affordable housing. So as well as the grant from Homes England to build the units, we've also been really fortunate in this instance to secure a, a large sum of money to help us clean and remediate the site. This is the, you know, the regeneration of a key brownfield site in the centre of Brixham, which obviously is where we're focusing on our efforts on, on delivering brownfield sites to protect the greenfield sites in and around the bay.